Hello friends, welcome back to another video on Kubernetes. Many people have asked uh, to give some clarity on uh, Kubernetes certifications. So in this video, I'll try to give more information on Kubernetes certifications. So watch the video till the end. Kubernetes is one of the open source project that is booming like anything in the current market because it is one of the most popular container orchestration tools. This video is purely for the beginners will give uh, some clarity on the Kubernetes certifications. So those who are planning to take the certification on Kubernetes will be able to understand what types of certification they have and what is the course syllabus or curriculum and the eligibility, course fees and how to prepare for the certifications, who can pass this exam and how to register for the certifications. So I'll be covering these topics in this video. So this is purely to give some clarity on the Kubernetes certifications part. So cloud native Computing Foundation that is CNCF and the Linux foundations. They have created these Kubernetes certifications to standardize the training and certifications for engineers as every technology companies they do. But all these exams are purely practical. There is no multiple choice questions. So you cannot simply give a try. So you should have the dedication and you must do a lot of practice. Then only you will be able to pass this exam. This is again a video from a Kubernetes tutorial series. If you are new to our uh, channel, I will give you the link in the description related documents and uh, videos. You can just go through that and make use of it. If you still didn't subscribe to our channel, to subscribe now and click nearby bell icon so that you will not miss any interesting videos that we upload in our channel. Let's get started. Types of certifications. So primarily they have uh, two certifications that is uh, Certified Kubernetes Administrator that is CKA and the other one is Certified Kubernetes Application Developer that is CKAD and also they have one more that is Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist that is CKS. We will mainly uh, focus on uh, CKA and CKAD. This CKA certificate is testing our uh, ability to deploy and to configure the Kubernetes cluster as well as the understanding of core concepts and CKAD that is certified Kubernetes application developer that tests a ability to deploy and configure applications that is running on a Kubernetes cluster and the understanding of some core concepts. Again, the CKS that is certified Kubernetes security specialist that tests your ability of end-to-end -end security of the Kubernetes cluster and again some core concepts. So these are the types of certificates currently they have on the Kubernetes. Let's talk about the Kubernetes core syllabus or uh, the exam curriculum. Okay, so the one I have right now in front of you that is for uh, CKA, Certified Kubernetes Administrator. We'll go through one by one. I have for uh, CKAD as well as I have for uh, CKS. For CKA, if you see scheduling, logging, monitoring, so the percentage, the weightage of each area as they have mentioned over here clearly. 5% of the questions will be coming from scheduling and again from logging monitoring area they will have 5% of the questions to understand how to monitor all cluster components, how to monitor applications, component logs, application logs, those things and 8% from application lifecycle management so that you will be able to perform rolling updates and rollbacks, the different ways to configure applications, how to scale applications, primitives necessary to create a self-healing applications. And loan percentage from cluster maintenance and another 12 percentage from security perspective and other 7 percentage from storage and these are the in detail topic and 10 percentage from troubleshooting and 19 percentage from core concepts. I will give you all these links in the description. You can just go through these informations. Learn percentage from networking, 12 percentage from installation and configuration and validations. That's it on uh, CKA and if you see CKAD Again, there will be some percentage from each areas. Uh, from core concept, they have uh, 13 percentage and the configuration part, they have 18 percentage and 10 percentage from multi container pods, 18 percentage from observability, 20 percentage on uh, pod design and 13 percentage from service and networking and 8 percentage from state persistence. That's it on CKAD. And if you want to know about CKS, again, I will give you this link. Okay, coming to eligibility, you must have a knowledge on Linux 
particularly the process and services and if something need to be performed what is command what is options how to get the manual pages if something happened how do you restart the services you should have such knowledge from linux operating system as well as the other main thing is docker concepts you should have the knowledge on containerization especially the docker tool what is image what is docker image how do we run the docker images on the pod this knowledge will help you to work on kubernetes so these are the eligibility you should have that's it nothing else more you should have the knowledge on linux operating system as well as the containerization coming to exam fees for the both certification they charge 300 dollars coming to course duration it is a 3 hours exam for cka and 2 hour exam for ck ad so you must be prepared for everything you will not be allowed to come out during these durations how to prepare for the certifications cncf itself they have the training courses if you go to this link you'll be able to see this course details this is purely for the beginners 4 to 5 weeks to 2 3 hours per week and this particular course is free that is only for the introduction and you can register over here using this link and for other courses they charge fees for kubernetes fundamentals and they will cover these topics they charge 299 dollars and for the developers these are the topics they will be covering and again they charge close to 300 dollars and also especially for uh, these certification trainings a lot of materials are available in online as well as if you are happy to go to any physical institute then you can go and uh, check with them because everybody have uh, started uh, providing the training on the kubernetes certifications obviously they will be charging some fees for the training purpose even we have uploaded a uh, lot of kubernetes videos that will surely help you in some topics and also we will be uploading more in coming days you can just make use of it who can clear this exam obviously as i said before it is purely a practical exam there is no multiple choice questions so it is dedications and skill how much you have gained during the preparations you must do lot of practice and as i have shown in the curriculum they have clearly mentioned what percentage of questions from which areas they will be asking so you need to cover the entire areas how to register for the certifications here you have multiple options but purely it is a online based exam so even you can register for the certification through this link you have the option to register for the exam for cka as well as for cka ad they charge 300 dollars and you can just register for the exam and you can schedule it but if you are uh, giving the exam from your home then you should have the stable internet connections for uh, minimum 3 hours so i would suggest uh, go to nearby any institute and uh, get the enough information from them and how much mark you should score to pass the exam to clear the exam of cka you should score uh, minimum 74 percentage or above and in order to clear cka ad exam then you should score 66 percentage or more and uh, certification validity for both ck and ckd certifications are valid uh, for 3 uh, years and for uh, renewing again you need to take the exam again that certificate will be validated uh, for uh, other 3 years that will be effective from the date the exam you have passed but you must take that certification renewal before your current certification expires i hope you have got some idea on uh, kubernetes certifications If you have any doubts or uh, any other topics you wanted me to cover you can just feel free to leave your comment in the comment section i will maximum try to clear it out see you in the next video till then keep practicing and have fun how did you feel is it helpful appreciate our efforts in the comment section below hit like button share with your friends about us subscribe our channel to get further updates stay connected with us on social networking sites for more free tutorials visit our website www.lanetiguide.net